The West Bank Jewish settlement of Tene in the southern Hebron Hills is largely secular, relatively small, some 700 residents, and quiet. Settler Boaz Levi was raised on a kibbutz or communal farm near Hadera in northern Israel. An Israeli army officer for 25 years, he moved here to Tene with his wife and daughters in the 1980s, not for ideological or biblical reasons like many Jewish settlers in and around Hebron. Levy came here instead, he says, for the affordable housing, the beauty, and the quiet. I like this place from the time I was in the army. The price of the house is very low, was very low. And they say the quality of life, I like this place. Good weather, very close to uh, the big cities. Here, in and around Tene, Israel's barrier is mostly made of a tall metal barbed wire fence with electronic motion sensors. When the fence was built, Boaz says, they were hoping the state of Israel would include Tene on the Israeli side of the barrier. It did not. If there's ever a peace agreement with the Palestinians, Boaz worries what will happen to his family and their home in Tene. He says of life on the West Bank side of the fence, I won't fight the state if they want us to leave, we're not like the religious people, he says. We just want some compensation. So if they come to us and say, take your uh, uh, compensation and go back, so now we can go. A big percent. People will live for compensations. Boaz thinks about half the settlers in Tene would willingly leave the West Bank if they received support and reimbursement from the government. But the hardcore settlers, he says, they will always put up a fight. In the nearby Palestinian village of Ramadin, Arabs say the barrier under construction here in the south is poised to take more Palestinian land in order to protect the settlement of Eshkelot. 56-year-old Palestinian farmer Suleiman al-Jamain and his 13 children live in Ramadin. I'm a farmer. I have camels. I have sheep. I have goats. Where do the Israelis want me to go? This is my land. The wall will be on my land. Why not put the wall on 1967 borders? Why put it here? Our land was lost in 1948, and now our 67 lands will be lost. This is unfair. We've had good relations with the settlers here, but this is unfair.